A new toxicology report reveals that Storm Chaser star Joel Taylor died from an ecstasy overdose on board a cruise ship earlier this year. The Bureau of Forensic Sciences of Puerto Rico told TMZ that traces of ketamine were found in his system, but the official cause of death is MDMA poisoning. Taylor, 38, was found unresponsive in his cabin on board Royal Caribbean's Harmony of the Seas in January when the boat docked in San Juan, Puerto Rico. The star of Discovery Channel's Storm Chessers had passed out on the dance floor in the early morning hours after allegedly consuming a large quantity of the prescription narcolepsy medicine GHB during a raucous party. According to TMZ, party drugs, including ecstasy, cocaine and GHB, were in ample supply on board the ship, and several passengers had been arrested and taken off the cruise before it set sail from Fort Lauderdale, Florida, on January 20 for a seven-day all-gay cruise. The FBI said it was focusing on the circumstances of Taylor's sudden passing, how the illegal narcotics ended up on the boat, and who supplied them. Scroll down for video according to Royal Caribbean International's official website, guests are prohibited from bringing on board illegal drugs and substances, along with weapons, hookahs, dangerous chemicals and other items that could interfere with the safe operation or the ship of the safe and secure environment of our guests and crew. The section of the site that lists the prohibited items goes on to say, these and other similar items will be confiscated upon being found. Alcoholic beverages, illegal drugs, flammable liquids, explosives, and dangerous chemicals will not be returned. A cruise line representative told DailyMail.com the company has zero tolerance policy concerning drugs. The ship was chartered by a private company called Atlantis Events, which bills itself as the leader in all gay vacations and the world's largest gay and lesbian specialty vacation company, according to its site. Share this article Share it set sail from Fort Lauderdale, Florida, on January 20 for a seven-day cruise to Eastern Caribbean, with stops along the way in La Bay de Haiti, San Juan, Puerto Rico and Phillipsburg, St. Martin, before returning to Florida. Aboard the ship was Greece star Olivia Newton-John who was slated to perform. A clip from the night of Taylor's death showed Newton-John in a bedazzled jacket, backed by a quartet of pink ladies, performing the iconic song from Greece Summer Nights. A passenger claimed that the reality star had ingested so much of the addictive narcolepsy medication GHB often referred to as club drug or day drape drug that he passed out on the dance floor and had to be carried back to his cabin by two other people. Devastated friends and fans paid tribute to the much-loved Storm Chaser star. His co-star Reed Timmer, who followed tornadoes with him across America, announced the shocking news Ontario Witter. He uploaded photographs of Taylor and wrote, Rip my best friend and storm chasing partner, Joel Taylor. I am shocked and absolutely devastated by the loss of my incredible caring friend. We chased so many intense storms and I wish we could have just one more storm chase. I'll miss you forever, Joel. We lost a legend. Heartbroken fans also reacted to the news of his passing and thanked the pair for inspiring them to study the weather. Riley Carlton tweeted, I grew up watching Joel Taylor and Reed Timmer on Discovery, they are a major reason I want to study meteorology. It hurts my heart that Joel passed away. Team Western OK Chazer, a group based in Oklahoma, wrote on Facebook, Our community of Elk City and the Storm Chazing community lost a great guy today. Joel Taylor was truly an inspiration to myself and many who knew him. He was one of the most level headed chessers on the roads and truly a classy guy outside of chessing. He didn't chase for the glory he chessed because he had a true passion for storms. In the last few years, he'd load up with his dad and go chase and not even take a camera. Our hearts are hurting for his mom, Tracy, and dad, Jimmy, along with his brother and sister and their children. Please know you are in our prayers. Rip Joel. Storm Chessers was first aired on 2007 and follows a team which attempt to intercept tornadoes in America's Tornado Alley, 